Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video, we're gonna take a look at some of the physique updates of some bodybuilders who are competing relatively soon. So we are starting with a physique update of Nick Walker from a couple of days ago, basically at the time when Arnold the UK was happening, so I didn't cover it, but now let's talk about it. So he posted this front relaxed shot. You guys know that I'm a huge fan of Nick Walker. I love his mindset. I love how massive he is. I love how hardcore his mentality is about bodybuilding, but as far as his physique on stage, I wouldn't say it's necessarily my favorite because of the aesthetics or the lack thereof. So when I looked at this photo, the only thing that I saw was this. Let's move it up a little, okay, right here. So when you take a look at this midsection, you will notice that like there is no bubble gut, you know, there is no bulging around stomach looking like he's pregnant or anything like that. Like that's not happening with Nick's physique. His stomach is flat. He's sucking it in, he's controlling it, he's flexing it, he's showing the abs, it does look very flat. You can also see sort of a V-taper, a solid V-taper, like his waist looks much more narrow than his lats and his shoulders. So overall, everything looks pretty good when you zoom in like this. But when you zoom out, it's a, it's a much, much different story. Basically, his midsection is just taking a lot of space. Probably a little bit too much space. Compared to the size of his arms and shoulders and chest, his midsection is freaking massive. Like that whole area is freaking huge. Even though he's controlling it, he's sucking it in, he's keeping it flat, he just still looks out of proportion. And his waist size actually looks pretty narrow. You know, his shoulders are wider than his waist, than his hips. He actually is forming a V taper here, but still, something is off. I think it's just the size of his midsection area. If you guys follow Nick Walker, especially on his YouTube channel, you may have noticed that lately he actually grew. He actually went one step further. He literally reached a new level of muscularity, even though I thought it was impossible. And I don't think he even tried, really, because if you look at his training, he's really doing a lot of contraction stuff. Like, he's very, very slow and controlled in his reps, and he's just trying in his mind to work on the details. And also the way he's eating, he's not pushing protein at all. And for some reason he keeps growing, it's, it's ridiculous, it's insane. But he did grow, he did get bigger overall. Which I don't think he necessarily needed. Yeah, he needed some size to his uh, legs, especially outer sweep. But like that's about it, everything else is pretty much big enough. But with this new growth... I think everything had to grow and so did his midsection. His stomach is bigger now and you can see it, especially when he's walking around, when he's doing the poses, when he flexes it and controls it, it does look much, much better. If he fully relaxed, it would look like a disaster. And so he's very careful about it when he does the poses. I'm sure on stage he will have a perfect control of his midsection in eight and a half weeks at the New York Pro, which I think he will win. However... When it comes to winning the Mr. Olympia, which I up until recently believed he could do, which he believes he could do, which a lot of people actually believe he can pull off, I'm starting to lose hope, to have doubts that this will happen. Take a look at Hari Chopin and his midsection. Look at this freaking vacuum and look at his washboard apps. I mean, this is just insane i feel like i didn't give enough credit to hadi because i was cheering for samson too much i wanted to see him do well i gotta admit guys uh, hadi chopin from the Arnold classic ohio is probably one of the best physiques of all time i mean ronnie coleman phil heat jay cutler dorian yates and then maybe hadi or dexter or kai green in my opinion but like he's up there you know he's one of the best physiques i would say since phil heat era this guy is the best Mr. Olympia, the best bodybuilder, period. And you know, he's also kind of blocky, right? Like Nick Walker. But his midsection is looking 10 times better. I mean, he has perfectly symmetrical, developed and shredded, peeled abs. He can pull a freaking vacuum like nobody, man. I mean, it is very rare with guys of that size. Derek can do it too, sure. There are some other guys as well, but Nick Walker is definitely not one of them. And if he wants to win the Mr. Olympia, he needs to go through Derek, Samson, and Hardy. 
Do I see Nick Walker beating Hardy? I mean, how? How? With size? Can he be that much bigger to literally dwarf Hardy and beat him with size and conditioning? Because he does not have shape like this. We'll see how conditioned will Nick be, but even if he is as conditioned as Hardy, I don't think he has this kind of separation. And I don't think he has this kind of shape and, and symmetry and proportions. I mean, Hardy was just so complete this year, it was crazy. Super shredded and like very complete, like all the muscle was there. Even the back, even the glutes, everything was there, everything was in. And I think he's bringing something similar to the Mr. Olympia stage, at least he says so. Yesterday he posted this story and he says, I will come back this time like a razor. Yes, he won the Arnold Ohio, he won the Arnold UK, but he wants to gain back his Mr. Olympia title, so he is coming strong, and Derek knows that, so Derek is gonna push things, he's not gonna be relaxed in his offseason, he needs, he knows, he needs to dig deep, if he wants to improve, and actually defend his title, because that win at the Mr. Olympia was really, really close, you could say Hardy was better, personally, I don't think he was, I think Derek deserved it, but it was such a, such a close decision, if you ask me, it was so, so close, so if Derek looks the same and Hardy comes in the way he looked at the Arnold Ohio, Hardy wins it, hands down, which is, I believe Derek is gonna come in like 20% better, with bigger legs, with better conditioning in the legs and the upper body, and probably with even bigger and more impressive back and back poses. And then you also have Samson, who already beat Nick Walker last time they competed against each other. We don't know what Samson is gonna bring without Milos now, is he gonna be better or worse, but if Nick Walker wants to win the Mr. Olympia, I don't know, man, he needs to bring something insane, something ridiculous, in terms of muscularity, and conditioning, because shape-wise, all of these guys, all three guys I just mentioned, are destroying him, are annihilating him. So he absolutely needs to be bigger than them, and he also needs to be more conditioned than them. All of them need to be a little bit off, and then maybe, maybe he will have a chance, but at this point, I gotta say, I don't think so. I don't see it. With his proportions, I mean, look at this photo, for example, Look at how massive he is in his upper body and shoulders, and like the legs, you know, they're short, they're not sweepy, you just saw his midsection, I think he has just way too many flaws to be the best in the world. Yeah, I know how massive he is, and how conditioned he gets, but against Hadi, against Derek and Samson, I, I, gotta, I gotta admit, I, I don't see him winning the Mr. Olympia, I could be wrong, We'll find out soon enough, first let's see what he can bring to the New York Pro, and then we can talk about it, but based on these physique updates, yeah, I'm losing hope that Nick Walker is ever gonna become the Mr. Olympia, what do you guys think? Alright, next up we got a physique update of Andrew Jack, who was supposed to compete at the Arnold Ohio, but I believe he's doing the Dubai Pro Show, and Dubai is now third biggest show in the world, you know, prize money wise. After Arnold Classic and Mr. Olympia, and in that order, we have Dubai Pro Show as the third biggest show in the world, and Andrew Jack is doing it, as far as I know. Now, he was supposed to do the Arnold Classic Ohio, and he decided to skip that one, and I think it was a smart decision, because there was no chance, I don't think there was a chance of him winning it against Hari Chopin, I mean, Hari Chopin was basically unbeatable in that show, apparently. As far as beating Samson, I mean, that's a possibility, if he came in like super shredded, with like conditioned, actually conditioned glutes and hamstrings, you know, maybe that is a possibility, but as far as beating Hari, there was just no chance, so if he wasn't gonna win, or at least play second, it is probably the best for this guy to skip the show and do the third biggest show in the world, Dubai, and I think he's gonna win the Dubai Pro Show, I mean, who else is gonna win it? Who else is doing it, really? As for right now, we also know that Behrouz Tabani is doing it. And we got some breaking news about Behrouz Tabani. All this time, he was not prepped by Milos Archiv. He was, in fact, prepped by Samson's wife. Of course, a joke, but uh, here's a physique update of Behrouz Tabani. Milos posted this, and basically he said that he got a visa for Europe. So he's gonna be doing uh, uh, Italy and Spain, and also Dubai Pro. So... You know, that would be an interesting battle, Bakros Tabani and Andrew Jack, but is there really a chance for Bakros Tabani to beat Andrew Jack at this point in his career and actually win this show? 
Well, you know, if you talk about conditioning, uh, Becherus is gonna be peeled. He is always freaking shredded. You guys saw him at the Romania Pro, you know how peeled he was. And by the way, all these three guys on the left here were coached by Milos Sharchev. And you know Samson is blaming Milos for not bringing him in condition, but look at Becherus Tabani. Why is he so shredded and Samson isn't? Well, I would assume it's because Becherus is doing more than 45 minutes of cardio and he's not complaining and blaming others, watching food videos and just thinking about the end of the prep so he can eat. No, I think he's able to suffer, he's really willing to put in the work, and also he's Iranian. You know, those guys have insane genetics. Like, you guys know that I competed at the IBB World Championships, that's the amateur division, but there's always a lot of Iranians over there. And those guys are always the leanest guys. I don't know what is the thing. Is it like the skin structure or something like that? I don't know, but they're always freaking rock hard. Them and Koreans as well. I don't know if it is the genetics or work ethics, the ability to really work hard, but for some reason they're almost always super shredded. And you can see that in the IBB Pro League as well. The most conditioned guys in the IBB right now are probably Hadi Japan and this guy, Bakrus Tabani. He's always peeled to the shreds, like he's always super detailed. The only problem he has is the leg size. And that's why I don't necessarily see him beating Andrew Jagd. Andrew has beaten so many people with like completely off conditioning without any separation anywhere, and at Mr. Olympia he placed 5th, but you know, he was completely off, he looked like he was 8 weeks out, but he's just that good, he's just that big, that complete, that impressive, that freaky, that it's just impossible to ignore him, so I don't rely on him being very conditioned for the Dubai Pro, but you know, with his shape, with his size, yeah, he's definitely the favorite to win this show, and now he had some downtime, so maybe he's gonna be able to push for conditioning, and he usually brings better conditioning to the other shows compared to the Mr. Olympia, I don't know if it is like the Cedric McMillan type of issue where uh, his nerves get to him and he's unable to, to peak for some reason, or something else, but yeah, I'm expecting him to be more conditioned than he was at the Mr. Olympia, and for sure he's the favorite to win the Dubai Pro Show. As for the Arnold Classic Brazil in less than two weeks from now, I'm pretty sure Rafael Brandao is gonna get that one. Yeah, he has good veto to face, and also Tonio Burton is coming. So, you know, he's gonna have a competition, it's gonna be a good show, it's gonna be a tough show, but yeah, seeing Rafael at the Arnold Ohio with all the improvements, and with Tyler Mannion saying that he has no weak poses, with his height and his width and uh, symmetry and proportions and a really beautiful midsection, it's gonna be very, very difficult for anybody to beat him, unless Goodwito, for example, surprises everybody and brings something insane to the Pro League, which is a possibility, but it's not very likely. If I was a betting man, I would put my money on Rafael Brandau, and I'm sure you would as well. So guys, down below in the comment section, tell me what do you think about Nick Walker and his potential at the Mr. Olympia, who's winning Dubai Pro and who's winning Arnold Classic Brazil? Whatever you guys think, tell me down below, like this video if you enjoyed it, for more bodybuilding stuff like this guys, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching, see you soon, all the best and bye bye.